I'm Steve Adubato for JFK TV. We're here with Dr. Lewis George, who is the Chief of Interventional Radiology at uh, JFK Medical Center. First of all, what are we looking at in this room, which I was in about a year ago, and it's amazing, the expansion. What are we seeing? This is a state-of-the-art interventional or angiography suite. Um, it's designed to do the majority of the work in both interventional radiology and interventional neuroradiology. Okay. So break this down, doctor. A patient comes in. The difference between what you would normally do before this was here, before you had these capabilities, and what you can do now with this interventional radiology equipment, describe it, break it down in a real life case. In the past, a lot of cases would have to go to the operating room and would not be able to make it to the interventional suite because equipment like this just wasn't available. Now if a patient has a problem, then they can come here rather than going to surgery. It saves time, it saves, it saves expense, um, patients uh, are through much quicker, uh, the recovery time is much less, and uh, the outcomes are much better. If you take a look at some of these different shots that are coming up on the screen here, what does it give the clinician the ability to do that you otherwise wouldn't have? It gives you the ability to see in three dimensions in a spinning mode. You can see some of the images in the past were spinning in a circle. You can place the lesion, in this case an aneurysm, um, in 3D perspective. And you can see where it is with relation to the brain and where it is in relation to the outside of the brain. So if a surgeon needs to go in and do a procedure, he or she can then attack it and know exactly where to go. Or if an interventional neuroradiologist needs to do a procedure, he or she can see exactly where the lesion is and attack it from an endo endovention, uh, excuse me, from an endovascular point of view, which is through the vessel rather than through the brain. And why does that matter so much? Oh, it's definitely, it's a big, big savings. Um, when patients come in with aneurysms that have bled, the traditional treatment many years ago was for a surgeon to go in and clip it. And that would take uh, multiple hours and have a certain amount of mortality or morbidity associated with it. Nowadays, somebody like Dr. Kermani will go in through the groin, endovascular, and put little tiny microcatheters the size of a hair into the aneurysm and put little coils in them to stop the blood flow in the aneurysm and cause it to clot up. It's much, it takes much less time, it's much safer for the patient, the recovery time is much less, and the results are quite good. Dr. George has been with JFK for 20 years, he told me before this conversation. I'm thinking, you've seen incredible progress here at JFK over the years. When this is happening, this uh, $3 million expansion, you also told me that next door, Dr. George, there's going to be a comparable room. And by the way, how will that room be different? The only difference will be instead of biplane, which means these two, these two imaging intensifiers or these two digital processors, instead of being at 90 degrees, we only need a single one because this biplane mode is necessary for interventional neuro work. We really don't need it in the other things that we do. Okay, but let me go back to the other question. In 20 years, you've seen a lot of changes. What does this expansion in interventional radiology, what does it say to you about JFK's commitment to excellence and quality care? I think they're very committed that uh, they're putting the money into these three suites is an important for the community. It's very important that we have access for patients 24-7, inpatients and outpatients, and across all disciplines. We can help everybody from urology to OBGYN to neurosurgery to family practice. When they need certain procedures done, we're here for them and we can do it in a timely fashion.